comments on for like uh, another minute um, today we're gonna be using a strap so if you don't have a strap please go ahead and locate like a scarf as an option um, what else can you use uh, like a, a towel a long thin towel will, will work we're gonna primarily do a lot of seated breathing, stretching, a lot of twisting for detox. You can expect Sunday sessions to run mm, mm, about 30 minutes, I'm guessing. Um, and we're gonna just open up shoulders, hips, hamstrings, low back, um, and just really work through a lot of opening tension in the body, exposing tension, and then breathing through it. So another like 30 seconds, please try to grab a strap or a towel. You're gonna find it really helpful. All right. And then if you have any specific requests, things you're not sure about, just let me know. Hi there. All right, so go ahead and find a spot on your Touch the knees come wide and then hands to the belly. Slowly notice your next inhalation through the nose as you fill up. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Do that again. Inhale through the nose, fill up. Hold at the top of your lungs. Welcome if you are just joining. Let it go with the exhale. One more like this. Inhaling nice and slow and steady. Everything has expanded. And then maybe sigh it out. Feel the hands come wide. Take up some space. And then seal the lips and inhale through the nose only. Exhale through the nose only. Two more like this, activating inhale through the nose. And if you're joining now, it's not too late. Exhale through the nose. Soften the shoulders. One more big breath in. Setting an intention of gratitude, maybe for your mommy, maybe for being a mommy. Let's exhale through the nose. Empty more fully, push the stale air out, soften through the chest. Let's take a community breath now through the nose. Community exhale, feel the head heavy through the nose. Relax the hips, ankles. One more. Notice the breath take up space in the body and exhale. Let go of tension. Soften the eyebrows. Take a slow breath in now to draw the knees together. Follow the inhale to the very end of it. 
Exhale, pulls the knees into your chest, nice and slow, maybe rounding and curling into a tiny ball. Catch elbows if you can as you hug the knees in. Breathe like this, forehead to knee, for two more. Like you're in a tiny ball. Inhale. Let's exhale the shoulders back down and the left leg goes long. Go ahead and grab your strap where it's handy. If you're using a beach towel, if you're using a scarf, find that. And then wrap the strap around the balls of the toes. Hold the strap in only the right hand. Let's bring the left hand to the hip. Find a breath in. Hold for the exhale, slowly pressing the heel to the sky. Take four more like this. Gently toes towards you. Exhale, maybe pull the left toes to the sky. Three. Just straight up, waking up the back of the leg. Two. Now notice if your elbow's off the mat, give yourself more strap, pull the elbow down. Never leave the breath, one more. Your time, your pace. Inhale to slowly bend the right knee towards the armpit. Keep the left hip bone down just like this, and then exhale the right heel away from the hip like a pair of scissors, opening any amount. Good, breathe like this, yogis. For four. Keep this left hip bone down. Three. I want you to really notice the breath. For two. Always going only as far as your body allows. Last one. Take an inhale. Stay for the exhale. Push that right heel more. Very good. On an inhale, draw the right knee back into your chest. Keep that right leg where it is. So the strap is coming in the left hand. Another inhale. Good for the IT band. Find a twist foot to the left. Right fingers reach right. Five. Four. Feeling a stretch right from the right hip bone down the right thigh. Two. Last one. Good, slowly draw the right knee back into your chest. Take your time. Exhale, bend the left knee. Press the left foot down. Connect the right ankle across the left thigh. Releasing the strap, exhale to push that right knee forward so you feel the pelvis square. Like a seated figure four, option to stay here. Breathe deeper. Or if you need a challenge, press into the elbows, slowly lift the chest, press into the hands, Walk the toes forward until you can really lift the heart. Fingers are facing forward, maybe look up. Let's breathe for four more. Breathe for three. Lifting heart, softening shoulders. Two. One. Take an inhale. 
Option to stay where you are, exactly where you are, or slowly stack the shins, landing the left ankle onto the mat. This is called double pigeon or fire log pose. Let's sit nice and tall, lifting through the crown of the head. Relax. Four more. Just three. For a two. Very good. Really rooting the sit bones down. Last one. You'll feel a stretch in that right inner thigh. One more. If you would like to challenge yourself by walking the hands forward, you'll find a stretch through the spine here, a deeper compression through the hips. Two more cycles. I give you options. So you can make this practice your own. Different ages signing on, different backgrounds signing on. Inhale, lift. Exhale, just like you got there, use the elbows, come back onto the back. Left leg goes long, right knee goes in. Let's roll out the right ankle three times. One. Two. Last one. Three. Counterclockwise, right ankle. One. Two. Three. Good. Keep the right hand on the right knee, left hand to the left hip. Let's pull that right knee away from the right hip. Pause where you feel a maximum stretch. Pull the shoulders down. Three breaths. Should feel really nice and open through the hips. And just straighten the right heel to the right, any amount, it doesn't have to look like this. And then slowly draw it back in. Left knee meets the right. Inhaling to keep the knees bent, catch the big toes, glue the tailbone down. And then really press the low back down, pull the shoulders away from the ears again. Hold, happy baby. For three. Just notice. Two. One. Slowly draw the knees back to touch. Inhale. Let's extend the right leg long. Right land the right heel down. Exhale. Strap is on the left foot now or using your scarf, your tie, whatever it is. Let's hold the strap in the left hand, right hand to the hip, take an inhale, push the heel to the sky. Exhale, pull the toes to the heart. Very good. Four more. No locking out the knees, so you want to keep a gentle bend. Three. Really pulling the right toes up and towards you. Two. Last one. Your time on pace. Take an inhale, right hand is still on the right hip. Bend the left knee towards the armpit and then exhale, guide the toes at a diagonal away from the hip. Very good, hold this. Five. Maximum stretch. Four, holding it with ease. Three, very good, pull the toes to the heart. Two, 
Excuse me, pull the tail toes away from the hip and still towards the heart because they're flexing. One more. Good. Slowly inhale, bend that left knee towards the chest. Holding the strap in the right hand now. Exhale, guide the left foot with the right hand on the strap to the right. Find the left arm reaching away from the body. Four more. Nice lengthening spine. Looking away from the leg. Three. Controlled breathing. Two. One. Take your time, no rush, take an inhale. Bend that left knee towards the chest. When you're ready, pull the right knee in, firm the right foot down, and land the left ankle over the right thigh. Seated figure four is where we're going. So exhale, push the elbows into the mat to slowly lift using the belly muscles, pressing into the hands, fine, seated, and you'll find a stretch right away into the butt cheek. So let's really lift the heart and chest. Hold for four. Hold for three. Hold for two. Maybe shifting the gaze up. Last one. Okay, if you like where you are, stay, even if you're on the back, or continue. Fire log pose or double pigeon. Land the heels to the opposite side. Just stack the shins, sit tall. You're on the right ankle now, lift the heart again for four. Beautiful. Three. Two. Really nice. One. If you would like to explore walking the hands forward, finding a gentle stretch in the spine, do that. We're here together for two more. You'll notice as you fold, the left knee may come closer to the right foot. And slowly lift again on an inhale. At your pace, hands come back where they were, knees come back as they were, and recline with your figure four formation to bring the left knee into the chest. Extend the right leg long, and slowly compress that left knee tight. Hold it tight, relax through the shoulders, make your circles, one. Two, left ankle. Left anchor rolls up. Three. Counterclockwise. One. Two. Three. Very good. Stay where you are. Keep the right hands on the right hip. Left knee and left hand connect, inhale, exhale, pull the left knee away from the left hip, just like this. Stay with the breath, maximum stretch. One more cycle. Your pace. Let's exhale to kick that left leg long. One cycle, inhale. Just exploring your edge, kick, press the heel, exhale. 
and slowly draw that left knee in, right knee in, and let's catch the backs of the legs, rock the length of your spine, find your child's pose. Big toes touch, knees come quite wide. We're focusing on the stretch today, so walk the hands forward, bow the forehead down. Inhale to walk the hands forward. Exhale to bring the heart to the floor, spread the fingers wide. Really pull the armpits away from the ears. One more cycle. And then can you close the eyes and just relax into this pose for three breaths. Child's pose, we breathe for two. And one. Slowly opening the palms to the sky for receiving. Melt the heart close to the floor again. And slowly bring the hands back to the knees. Walk the knees back to touch. Lift the bum, curl the toes under you. Have a seat on the heels. Toe stand. So you can see that the toes are finding a bit of exposed tension here. Hold for eight breaths. Seven. Six. Thinking tall, breathing. Five. Four. Just three, soften the stomach, soften the chest, just two, pull the shoulders more down, last one, let's secure it one more cycle, excellent work, slowly release onto the heels now, ankles, heroes pose, breathe like this. If you need a block under your knees, or excuse me, towel under your knees, do that. If you need some cushion, a pillow under the knees, under the bum, do that. And then take a breath in. Let's rock the head to the right. Hold for four. Hold for three. For two. For one. Slowly draw the head back through center. Head to the left. You can do this. Four more. Stretching the right side of the neck. Three. Very good, two. Last one. Take one more. Deep in that exhale, find that stretch. Let's roll the head through center, chin to the chest, and slowly look up. Hands in front of you, cross the ankles, have a seat behind the legs and feet. Cross-legged, Sukhasana, easy seated pose. Grab your strap or shirt tie if you have it, if you're using it today. Let's go ahead and rest the strap just on the lap or on the knees. Inhale, reach the fingers forward. Please flex at the wrists. Open the palms wide. Begin to feel activation throughout the arms as you sit a little taller. And then right away, turn the fingers to face the mat and pull the fingernails towards you more. Oh, there, if you found the stretch, hold that for three. Without force, just breathe. Two. 
How much taller can you sit? One. Make a fist. Roll it out. One. Two. Three. Four. Switch directions. One. Two. Don't get tired in the arms. Three. The breath makes it possible. Four. Good. Release the hands to catch the strap. Inhale, pull the shoulders up towards the ears. Squeeze the shoulders behind you. Down the back. One more. Inhale up. Exhale together and down. All right. Holding the strap as it is, please switch the legs. Other leg in front, if you miss that, switch the legs. And then still sitting cross-legged, press the sit bones down. Inhale, reach, arms up. Lift the spine, exhale. Imagine you can pull the hands all the way behind you. Readjust the palms if you need. Exhale. Just like that. So if it's too challenging, bring the hands wider. If it's not challenging, bring the hands closer. Inhale. Exhale, hands down. If it's too challenging, bring the hands wider. If it's not challenging, bring the hands closer. This is called flossing the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, lifting up, exhale, back and down, let's go slower, inhale for a count of three, slowly coming up, rip the strap, two, Shaking is okay. One. Hold at the top. Pull the shoulders back in place. Take an inhale. Think taller. Exhale. Go down slowly and pick one spot of resistance. One spot of resistance. Of tension. Hold for five. For four. Very good, just three. Just two. Last one. One inhale. Release the hands behind you, exhale. Cool. Chin up, throat to sky. We're going to do that again. Pick another spot of resistance. Inhale up slowly. You decide where that point is. And hold in stillness. For four. It can be a new spot. It could be the same one. For three. For two. Last one. Very good. Slowly release the hands down now in front of you. And keep this strap handy. Switch to butterfly legs. Seated butterfly. Pick up the sit bones. Walk them back so you feel the pelvis tipping forward. We do have a bit more work to go. Stay with me, catch the big toes, lift the heart. Let's check in with some head rolls. Drop the head down. Inhale, head up the right shoulder. Slowly across the back. Next, exhale, head down the left. It should feel more open from the first exercise. Inhale, head up the left. Very good to open up the neck across the back. And down the right, exhale. One more time each side, big breath in. Across and down the left. Empty up the left. 
up, all across, down. Good. Listen carefully. I want you to grab your scarf or your tie or your strap and just wrap it along the right waist and let it fall just like this. So the strap is here. We're going to try something new today. We're going to see how it goes, okay? Sit tall. Find your eagle arms. Right arm under left, please. Right arm under left. Pick up the elbows. The hands might touch. This is called eagle arms. Hold this for four more. If you can't do this, just give yourself a hug. For three. Very good for backs of the shoulders, yogis. For two. Pick up the elbows. Squeeze from the back. Let's round and curl on an exhale. Tuck the chin to the chest. Two. Exposing the tension. One. One more. It's not for the easy, it's for the willing. Slowly lift. Torso. Extend the right leg long. Bend the left knee to point to the sky. Keep those arms, turn the torso so that you are connecting and then release. Now the right elbow is outside the left knee. Left hand comes behind you, sit tall, inhale. Twist, look over the left shoulder, exhale. Let's get technical, flex the right feet. Turn the corner of the eye for the twist. Five. Inhale to lift, detox, so important. Exhale to twist. Three more. Think tall, twist. Two, inhale. Exhale. Last one, pull that left shoulder more back. Pull that left knee more close to you. Inhale slowly. Guide the torso halfway back where it was, not fully quite through center, keep the arms. And then I want you to practice a bind since we've just opened up the shoulders. So I'll demo a full variation. One day you'll be able to keep the tuck and you'll be able to catch the hands. But this is what we're keeping the strap here for today. So find the left hand catching the strap behind you. Find the right hand catching the strap, and if you're like, wow, this is really hard, at least you're trying it. Hold for three. That's right, the right shoulder is over the left knee. For two. As long as you're breathing, you're doing great. One. Amazing job, slowly release everything. Extend that left leg long, shake it out. Maybe you use this strap to inhale, reach hands to the sky. Take your time, no rush. Exhale, fold. Just for five. Just for four. Nice. Two. One, slowly lift, torso, bend the knees, butterfly legs. All right, so we're gonna set up the strap the same way, just along the left waist, and let the left waist hang with the strap, just like this. Sit tall, eagle arms, left arm under right, arms wide, Left arm under right. Hands touch, lifts. You're doing so great. Breathe into the backs of the shoulders, lengthening through the crown of the head. Three more. Giving yourself a hug is always an option. 
two. One. Think taller through the heart, squeeze the arms. Round and curl, exhale. Folding down, tucking the chin down, hold for two. Hold for one. Inhale, gently lift. Exhale, extend that left leg long. Bend the right knee towards you. Pressing into the right foot, keep the arms. Slowly guide the torso to the right. Now you can release once the left elbow has connected with the outside of the left knee. Right hand comes behind you. Lift the heart as you push the right hand down. Twist, looking over the right shoulder. One side might feel different to the other. That's okay. Four more. Getting technical, flex those left feet. Three. Really lift. So if you're taking the elbow crease towards you, that's also it's the same variation. Might find it a little easier to hug it in. One more cycle, lengthen spine. Still twisting, pull that right shoulder back, 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 back. Turn the corner of the eyes, give me one more inhale. Very good detox, exhale, guiding yourself halfway back. Keep that left shoulder inside, or excuse me, outside the right knee. So we're trying that same bind again. Okay, left hand reaches towards the strap, catch the strap, right hand maybe holds the strap, and remember how they, one day will touch, lift, twist, one more. Just trying something new, we grow, three, out of our comfort zone, two, Lift the heart higher. Twist a little deeper. Notice if the right hip bone's coming down, pull it down, root for the twist. And slowly guide yourself back through center. Excellent, exhale that right leg long, give it a shake, sit taller, take a breath in. Let's pull the feet wide, exhale. Take time to pick up one sit bone, press it down, left sit bone, push it down. Lifting heart. Strap comes around the right foot, so you don't want to lock out the knee, please. You want to keep a gentle bend, side bend. Our last target area for today, catch the strap with the right hand. It doesn't have to be very wide. Lift the heart, breath in, and just slowly, without Without the chest pulling down, the chest is still pulling up, reach the left arm up and towards the right. So it might help to catch the strap with the left hand and reach the right arm just under, like a thread the needle. Let's hold whatever variation for five. But I really want this left side body to get the stretch. Four. Three. Relax the thighs. Two. Relax the shoulders. One. Holding for three more. Two. One. Inhale, let's gently lift the torso. Check in with the head, neck, shoulders. 
and then switch. Strap comes around the left foot. Holding the strap in the left hand, sit tall, inhale right arm to the sky. So remember we're not collapsing the chest, but rather we're lengthening through both sides of the waist. Reach. Maybe catch the strap with the right hand if that feels better. Option to thread the needle. Five. Taking a variation that serves. Four. You're really feeling it from the right hip, through the ribs, through the armpit, through the shoulder, elbow. Three. Two. One. Three. Flex the feet, yogis, side bending. Two. Easing the shoulders. One. Slowly. Maybe walking the hands through center. Let's just bow it out. You may bring the hands to touch, bend the elbows, press the thumbs to the nape of your neck so that the triceps get a stretch. And at your pace, if you're ready, let's go ahead and enter our variation of Shavasana. Extend the legs long. If you wish to use legs up the wall, you may. And just take a moment to take up space. Breath in, open mouth, exhale. Everything should feel really good, open, juicy. I'm just honoring those new channels of energy in the body. Maybe the knees feel better. The low back. If you do have low back tension, I do encourage you to bring legs up the wall. Because this releases a lot. Really bringing the bum as close to the wall as possible. The bum should be touching the wall almost. Maybe resting hands behind you. Let it go. Flush it out. Free yourself of it. We'll be here together and I'll guide you out in a moment. I am light, I am compassion, I am forgiveness, I am strength, Soften the throat, the tongue, the eyebrows, the jaw. Surrender more fully.
We have the option to stay here much longer, just listening to the body, feeling the breath move in the body. And if the breath begins to deepen again, slowly allow yourself to awaken if it is time. Rolling onto one side, we eventually press up to seated. And I'll close here. Just saying thank you, gratitude, breath in. Namaste. Um, so that was not 30 minutes. <laughs> um, you guys are awesome. Thank you for joining. I'll turn on comments. I am curious to know how you enjoyed um, the stretch and twist today instead of our regular vinyasa. If that worked for you, if you have any questions, um, tomorrow will be a little closer to what we have been doing just a more foundational class wonderful thank you for sharing your feedback so i'll be here every day this week if you're not sure about what the schedule would look like this week please check my story um if you're still in shavasana stay longer enjoy the rest um sunday will be the only day we do this stretch format Tuesday and Thursdays will be very strength building, no problem. And Wednesday will be wonderful. Wednesday will be yin. So some of us skip the yin, I have noticed. <laughs> and I just want to say, um, beautiful, I just want to say that the yin is really important. It's like the only time in your week where you can slow down more than this. So please give yourself the chance to try Wednesday session. Monday and Friday, if you are either out of touch with yoga, you've had recent injuries, you are still learning the foundations, the technical detail of the practice, please join Monday and Friday classes. For those of you who have been practicing with me for a while, you know what the challenge looks like, you're gonna get that on Tuesday and Thursday. And all of this is detailed in my story, so um, yeah, check my story. After Eagle Hands was challenging. Yeah, so the, um, oh beautiful, Yin was, Yin is very important. Um, the bind I did with the strap was like the challenge for today. It took me um, a very, very, very long time to learn that one. Um, but I introduce it so that you know there's always something to work on and work towards. So never feel defeated with any of this, anyone. Um, it's an ongoing process. Even where I am, there is new things I learn every single day I show up onto my mat. Um, so I encourage you to do the same, come in with the same attitude. Yeah, we all need that relax, you know what I mean? Anyways, happy Mother's Day. You are all incredible. You are all beautiful. Um, send requests or any afterthoughts or questions my way. Um, DM me. I'm always available. Sometimes I'm slow, but I'm around. Um, have a beautiful one. Drink lots of water. Thanks, guys. Stay home, stay safe, and keep your hands clean now that things are slowly opening up. You know, be really careful. Keep your vitamins up. If that's what you do, drink lots and lots of water.